Hi, my name is Igor Jankovic. I'm Associate Professor in the Department of Civil, Structural and Environmental Engineering. University at Buffalo is a large public university. Because of the size, we have a number of different clubs students can get involved in. Uh, two of the clubs that I have been involved over the years are Concrete Canoe and a Steel Bridge Club. These clubs are quite important to students. First, from, for their educational benefits, they will learn how to design, analyze, and then test the realistic structure under uh, realistic constraints. Second, they will work with the faculty and staff on a personal level in designing their concrete canoe and a steel bridge. Both of these benefits are quite significant for their education. I personally enjoy the undergraduate teaching a lot. Undergraduate teaching is sometimes quite challenging, and this is really the, fun, the part that is quite fun uh, and interesting to me. Uh, it's often very difficult to take a complicated material and to try to break it down into the pieces that can be easily understood, and then present these pieces in a logical order. Uh, I always like to do this in my classes. I take a complex problem, I try to simplify it, try to get the essence of it, and this way I build the foundations for more advanced aspects of the same problem. My name is Ann Bizantz. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering, and I teach and do research in the area of human factors engineering, which is the study of how to make systems better for people to use. As a faculty member and in my work as undergraduate studies director for the Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering, one of the things we that I help focus on is designing the best curriculum for our students so that they have the knowledge and skills they need to go on to get great jobs or to succeed in graduate school once they leave our program. I sort of feel an affinity for our undergraduate program because I'm an alumni of the program. I was here as a student. I liked the sort of close-knit groups that we had within our engineering school. I think one of the great things about being part of a university like UB is that you have all the resources of a large school, but at the same time, the engineering school is a smaller home within that. I mean, they're getting specialized advisement, special courses, and so on from day one. By the time they leave as seniors, I know who they are and line them up for graduation. I'm Kemper Lewis. I'm a professor in mechanical and aerospace engineering. Some things that I personally enjoy is really seeing students um, engage in understanding how they can impact uh, not only their local society but the global world uh, all around us. You know, the National Academy of Engineering has issued these 14 grand challenges, really challenges that are going to shape the landscape of uh, the world for, the, for, the, for decades to come. How I enjoy getting to know my students is really again through this, through thinking globally. Um, a challenge I've recently used in one of my classes is clean water. I mean, we all we all drink it, we all use it, but sometimes we take that for granted. And that's one of the National Academy of Engineering's grand challenges: is how how to provide clean water to uh, er every area, every remote area of the world. I've got a group this semester who's taken their clean water project, and they're going to Haiti next semester on their own to try to implement it and that was not anything that they had to do in my class but that was their own personal initiative to take this solution and make it uh, turn it into reality in the country of Haiti. So why UB? Well for one reason we're located in a great geographical reason right next to one of the leading natural resources of uh, clean water uh, in the world and so we have some great environmental advantages here too we have some great industrial advantages here we're very involved as faculty members with uh, a lot of the uh, regional leading manufacturers, leading design firms, uh, really trying to implement some of our research into uh, some real world applications. And then three, the faculty. They really care um, about the students. They, uh, it's less of an office hour uh, mentality and more of an open door mentality. I mean, when, when students come by, they can come by any time. We understand uh, students are busy. Um, so we're really engaged in trying to meet students where they are and really impact them and what's going on in their lives and their schedules and, and make a difference in the short time window that they have here at UB.